balance NH3 plus O2 produces NO and H2O. So what we can do is we can divide our equation into columns and we can list all the elements. We have nitrogen, we also have hydrogen, and we also have oxygen. Next, I'm going to write how many atoms of each element I have on each side. So for nitrogen, I have one. If you do not see a number next to your element, that means there is one. For hydrogen, here I have three. And for oxygen, I have two. Let's go to the next side. Nitrogen here is without a number, so it is one. Hydrogen is two. And oxygen we see in two places. And by the way, if you see something in multiple places, you should balance it last. And that's why I put it also last in my row. So we have one oxygen here and another oxygen here. So we have two all together. Now let's look whether everything is equal or not. Nitrogen so far is equal, so it is good to go. Hydrogen is not. There are three hydrogens on the left and there are two hydrogens on the right. What can we do? We will balance by adding coefficients, numbers, in front of our molecules. So for hydrogen, we have three, but we, we want them to be equal. How can we make three and two equal? We can multiply three by two and two by three to make it equal. So I'm going to put two here and I'm going to put three here and let's see how all the numbers will change if I put two here now I do not have one nitrogen I have two times one I have two nitrogens how many hydrogens two times three I have six hydrogens next let's deal with the with, with this uh, coefficient so three times two means I have six hydrogens. so my hydrogen is not e is now equal but my number of oxygen has changed. I have one on this, I have one in NO, and then I have three here. So that means right now I have four. Also, I can see that my nitrogen is now not balanced. So I am going to balance nitrogen next. I have two on the left, one on the right. So I will add two here. Now my nitrogen is 2, now it's balanced, and oxygen changes yet again. 2 plus 3 is 5. So now my nitrogen is balanced, my hydrogen is balanced, but my oxygen is not. I have 2 oxygens on the left, and I have 5 oxygens on the right. And I have a trick for you, because... Um, I cannot multiply this by something that, that will make it 5. So the trick is to use a fraction. I want to have 5 oxygens on the left side. I, write, I have 2 right now. So I am going to use a fraction. The fraction will be 5 over 2. Because 5 over 2 times, five, times 2 will give me 5. So if I use this fraction, if I use 5 over 2, then my equation will be balanced. So this is a trick that you can use and I will also teach you a trick of how to get rid of the fraction. A lot of times when you have oxygen in multiple places and in one place on the other side, you may have to use a fraction and that will really help you. Otherwise, you'll have to keep on going and it will be more difficult. So, if right now I have two nitrogens, that's balanced, six hydrogens, that's balanced, and then I have five over two times two, I now have five oxygens on the left, and I have two plus three, five oxygen on the right. So, this is balanced. Some teachers and professors will allow a fraction. However, if you want to get rid of it, what you need to do is you will have to simply multiply everything by 2 and that will get rid of your fraction. So what are my new, new numbers? 2 times 2. My new number, my new coefficient for NH3 will be 4. 5 over 2 times 2 will give me 5. Again, 2 times 2 will give me 4. 
and 2 times 3 will give me 6. So these are my new numbers without the fraction. My balanced equation will be 4NH3 plus 5O2 goes to 4NO plus 6H2O.